Probably for good reason. <laughs> What is that? That's not grandma. Come on, you little shit. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> I asked for it. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'm having a fucking episode. <laughs> I am. Oh. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ethel. A game that was actually recommended to me by Jack the Zipper. And while I'm naming names, I want to say thanks to Tiny Tonk. I believe he was my very first official subscriber, because my first one was actually my wife. She's just supportive. Uh, but it kind of got the ball rolling with that, so I want to say thank you to everybody, because we're in double digits now, which is pretty awesome. I didn't think I'd have any for, honestly, up to a year. So it's pretty cool to slowly see that number grow. I know it was a jump scare in the beginning, but there's a lot more than just jump scares in this game and it actually took me two hours to record so I did my best to cut out all the boring back and forth parts so without further ado I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did and let's get into it my name is Thomas Myrtle and I think I murdered my grandmother you think or you did why are you running Present day, 1963. Alright, so it's a little bit back. Change the settings real quick. Put that on high. Tree creaking is very accurate. Got a tree out back that creaks with the wind. Ooh, the moonlight coming through is nice. Stars look good. Stars always look good. Got a cross? Okay. Someone buried here? No. That's a pretty big house. Anyone in the windows? I'm just going to blame that on the wind. Yeah, it's windy. See? Yeah. I'm going to explore the outside a little bit real quick. Is that a quick fix? Why would you come here at night? Ugh. Well, board this up. There has to be something around here I can use to take these down. Okay, okay. Is somebody inside? That just gave me goosebumps. Grandma? Like the calm humming. The calm humming. I said that weird. It's a little unsettling. You gotta crouch. God. Yeah, I figured. I heard whispering. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Is that just creaking? Or were those like little footsteps? Mm, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I hear whispering. Oh, 
don't know what I just picked up, but I picked it up. <laughs> Make sure I don't miss anything. Might take me a while. Mm. You're ticking like a clock. Maybe that was just a rat. I was expecting something. Nice grandfather clock. Can't go in it. There's something engraved on the lock. You can find me if you try, but I can't be seen with the naked eye. Padlock has four digits. We got an axe. I mean, chop that shit down. I don't know why, but I'm going to end up trying every single light, even though I know it won't work. Uh, one of these will work, right? Eventually. My grandparents had a clock and you could hear it tick from like anywhere in the house. I'm hearing whispering. Sorry, an itch. There's a note on the table. Let's give this a try. Knew it. Did we pick up a light bulb? I don't know what we picked up. Did, can I check my inventory? No. It's been a tough journey, but I'm grateful to have my grandparents by my side when I had nothing and nobody else. I've been crashing on this couch for a few months now, and my back is consistently reminding me of my discomfort. Yeah, I get that. I just I had back surgery recently. But it's still better than the cold sidewalks I used to sleep on. Becky, I know you'll never read this, but I'm sorry our marriage fell apart because of my battle with drugs and alcohol. I'm proud to say, though, that I've been clean for two years now, slowly but surely getting my life back on track. However, it's not all smooth sailing. My grandmother's health is declining, and it's heartbreaking to witness her struggle with forgetfulness. She tries to write new stories for her books, but her memory fails her after just a few sentences. We're doing our best to keep an eye on it from the press, but it's a battle we're fighting slight silently. Despite her health issues, she still gets up every morning at 4 a.m. like clockwork to make sure both of a, both a fresh cup of coffee. Both of us have a fresh cup of coffee. I hate not having my mouse kind of like follow along with the words. <laughs> Those early mornings spent together on the front porch sharing coffee and conversations are precious moments I'll, ke I'll always cherish. As for Pa, he's been working tirelessly lately. Our connection, once strong during my younger years, seemed to have faded. He appears lost, distant even. I had hoped that our shared experience of fighting in the wars would bring us closer, but it seems to have driven a wedge between us instead. It's this heartening realization, but one of them, but one I'm determined to navigate through. Overall, each day brings its own challenges and blessings. I'm holding on to hope and grateful for the family I have, even amidst the struggles we face. Why was I turned around? We get a fire going? Alright, so he was in the war. I uh, gotta go upstairs. Pretty sure that's where I'm hearing the whispering. One of those will work. Oh, no, no, no. Was that me? Alright, let's do this. Something's gonna run by. 
Okay, maybe not. Upon. Just gonna close that while we investigate. Someone just went running. Or is the soap still? Mm -hmm. Toothbrush. Nothing in there. Just a dash. Wash it powder. Oh, just a dash of washing powder. Guess. In the home of the famous late Ethel Myrtle, with my future wife, Claire, she's been na nagging me for months to take a trip out here, so I surprised her with a visit to explore her idol's former residence. Despite its hidden location, I had a connection who had worked for Ethel. Rumors circulated about the grandson's involvement in Ethel's disappearance, driven mad after the war, I'm guessing. The husband ended up... I heard something. Oh, God. Where was I? The husband ended up disappearing after the events, and he hasn't been heard from since. So think he's out. I keep hearing things, and it's freaking me out. Some think he's out there looking for his grandson to seek revenge or something, if he's even still alive. I would have liked to see more of this place, but nearly every door was locked, preserving its history. Claire insisted on respecting that place after I mistakenly tagged up some of the walls. Okay, so that's who did it. Anyway, I'll try to clean up. Uh, clean it up before we leave. We're hanging out in the bathroom, smoking and sharing a few drinks. Claire brought a, her Ouija board to connect with Ethel. She's a bit of a frantic. I never believed in that stuff, but whatever makes her happy. She seems off lately, but I'm glad this trip here made her day, even though this place gives me a heavy feeling. I boarded up the back door at the request of Claire, so that when we leave, she at least has a sense that the place is protected. We're going to check out the rest of this place and see what we can find. Peek around the corner, can we lean? I heard someone running that way and noises that way. So we're going to go this way first. Doors is locked. Mm. I hate pounding in scary movies, uh, scary games. Emma? Man, oh man. Is that me? That's me, right? Nothing in the drawers. Maybe this drawer. Ooh, we got some stuff. Ooh, a key. All right. This looks like the key to the foundation. Pa used to twirl it around his finger anytime there was. Damn, I'm a slow reader. Wait, can I take anything else? Oh, man. Right, we gotta find the tape first. Nope, we're gonna close that. Pa took sleeping pills. Why is the music changing? Ah, nothing with the lights yet. Hello? Just gonna back up into corner. Did that turn on? Oh, I thought it turned on for a second. <laughs> I got so excited. <laughs> this is unsettling. Got some. My great great uncle, along with his wife and their young daughter, pose in front of the grand house they in inherited from his father. 
standing stoically behind them as their loyal butler. The historic home stood long before this one, but its foundation still stands strong, a testament to generations past. Can you do that to all the pictures? Grandma's parents, years after finishing the very home I'm standing in. Are there any other pictures on the wall? I know I missed some downstairs. Which I'm okay with for now. Hmm. Mm. It's still locked. My young grandmother stands between her two sisters beneath the my great grandmother. Didn't people smile back then? Nobody's smiling. This is a painting that Pa did. Not quite sure what it's supposed to represent, but it's always giving me the creeps. I can I can see that. Mm. Heard something. Remember this being a picture of my grandma. Uh, okay. All right, that got me. That's not a good picture. All right, that's locked. No lights. And no light yet. There's a lot of reading. I apologize. I'm not the best reader. And I got to turn the light off, which sucks. This morning was unexpectedly turbulent. Grandma accused me of thinking of taking her pills and reverting to my old ways. It's stung to hear those words, especially since I've been clean and proud of it. But I understand that her old age can sometimes play on her memory. I didn't touch those pills. They were probably left on the coffee table forgotten. Alright, so let's... Well, I guess that wouldn't really matter. Confrontation left me feeling disheartened and misunderstood. However, Grandpa surprised me by offering to send some quality time... To spend some quality time together later tonight. He suggested playing a few hands of poker and let me vent about the situation. I'm sure he'll bring up his favorite 1914 story. Man, that was a while ago. The year he was drafted into the war. Crazy old man. Anyway, it was a welcome change from the tension with Grandma and had a chance to connect with him, especially since we haven't spent much time together lately. He's always locked away in what calls the art room, but I've yet to catch a glimpse of it. He's incredibly secretive, keeping everything under lock and key. The other day, I caught him painting the walls, but strangely... There was no paint left behind. Perhaps those paint fumes are starting to get to him. Anyway, I hope Grandma can find it in her heart to forgive me, even though I know I'm innocent. Being falsely accused by someone I love hurts deeply, but I'll try to maintain patience and understanding. Family is everything, even when they're mistaken. I heard something to my left. Let's turn the light back on. Man, let's try this room. I think we're gonna get through. Nope. So I gotta go back downstairs. Yeah, let's go back downstairs. I hear something on the stairs. Didn't I shut that? I thought I shut that. Maybe I didn't. Oh god. I'm going to shut it though. Shut it, shut it. Why even give the option if I can't turn lights on? My grandmother in her youth, she was so pretty. She's kind of smiling. At least in that one. Mm. Right. Mm. I was expecting something. Ooh. Was that always crooked? I don't remember that on the wall. Anything under the blanket? Newer ashes? It remains of my great grandmother. Her picture is above. Pa used to talk to her all the time. I 
exploring a little bit. Any drawers over here? No. Nothing with a light yet. I doubt we'll get any sort of light. Picture my grandmother's parents. This house was constructed by my great-grandfather. He built it from the ground up, utilizing his skills. He purposed the old fashion that sits on the hill behind this one for storage and installed the power supply that currently serves the home or house. So there is a building. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I freaked that shit out of me. Oh my god. In a photo from years ago, my great-great-grandfather stands proudly beside his daughters, niece and nephews a few years after completing the house he built with his two sons. I recall my grandmother mentioning that they all fell seriously ill shortly after its construction. Could have been due to the materials used in building? Possibly. So who built the house? There's a lot of building going on. I'm not really keeping up with it because I'm freaking out. We don't, we don't have bolt cutters yet, though. Oh, no, we have a key. It's just, it's just Mother Nature. Great. only imagine what sort of stuff's in here. None of these are going to open? No. Nothing with that. Hmm. Let's keep going in deeper. Old pipes. It's just old pipes. Just old pipes. Old pipes. Can't go on those. My dog jumping up. Startled me a little bit. Which is also why I keep that open. I know it's kind of bright, but he likes to look out the window. You know, hanging out. Can't do anything with the lanterns. Got a fuse missing. Oh, that's what we picked up. Look at me go. Figuring it out. I was going to say, yeah, I couldn't tell what we picked up. Told you. It's old pipes. Right, let's get back to the house. See if we can turn any lights on. Finally. That'd be sweet. <laughs> Stuff like that is so much worse than jump scares. Oh my god. And the light going out earlier. That was... Horrific. Yeah. I'm going to turn every freaking light on in this house. Oh, that doesn't make it any better. Weird door. I kind of like it. Nope, leaving them on. Every single light's getting turned on. Even though it doesn't help a whole lot. This one's in case you're on vacation. Make people think that you're home. <laughs> Hmm. 
Anything on here? No. Oh, light switch. All right. Is this where someone sprints across? Nope. Wait, I didn't turn any lights on up here. Go back this way for a second. Turn this guy on. We're gonna blow if he's turning all these lights on. I don't even care. Why? The sound effects are... They're doing it. They're spot on. <gasps> oh, why? Oh, we found Grandma's room. God, that was terrible. Light switch? No. Shut that. Can't take any of that. I'm hearing so many noises. Oh, God. There's another note. Just check the drawers real quick. All right, can't take any of that. Chapter 7, Whispers from the Art Room. Ethel sat by the window, her gaze drifting past the falling snow to the door at the end of the hallway, the entrance of Arthur's sanctuary, his art room. It beckoned to her like a forbidden realm, a place she had not dared to enter and could not in years. The art room held a mystique that both intrigued and perplexed Ethel. Sorry, I'm a terrible reader. It was a space of secrets and haven, oh, a haven where the lowercase a threw me off. A haven where Arthur retreated to unleash the depths of his creativity, but there was more to it than just painting. Ethel often wandered, wondered what mysteries lay hidden within its walls. She imagined shelves lined with jars of pigments and brushes, canvases stacked against one another like silent witnesses of Arthur's of Arthur's artistic journey. But what drew Arthur to his art room time and time again was not just the act of painting, but the solace it provided. It was a place where he could, could escape the demands of the world, where he could lose himself in the strokes of his brush and swirls of color in his canvas. Sorry, our <laughs> number two of three dogs is underneath my feet. <laughs> All right, where was I? Getting distracted. Almost on purpose, because I'm terrified. Ethel understood this perhaps more than anyone else. She knew that Arthur's art was not just a hobby, but a lifeline, a tether to his true self in a world that often seemed indifferent to his dreams. And as she sat by the window, watching the snow fall softly, Ethel could, couldn't help but wonder what secrets lay buried within the walls of the art room. She longed to unlock its mysteries, to understand the depths of Arthur's soul that he so willingly poured into his work. But for now, she could only wait and wonder, her heart heavy with the weight of unspoken truths. Why did Pa keep that room so secretive for, for all our... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he kept it secretive. Only for good reason. <laughs> what is that? That's not grandma. Come on, you little shit. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> I asked for it. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'm having a fucking episode. <laughs> I am. Oh. Wait, I thought there was a note here. Is there not? Anymore? Oh, it was right here. <clears throat> Man, wearing suits is not the way to go. I'm... I'm sweating. <laughs> uh. 
I <laughs> gotta gather myself, hang on. Oh my god. That was... Oh, no. I did not expect him to attack. I thought he was just gonna disappear, like in most horror, horror games. My name is Thomas Myrtle, the grandson of Ethel and Arthur Myrtle. I have no recollection of last night's events, yet I fear I may have committed a grave act. Awakening beside a pool of blood in my grandmother's room, with her nowhere to be found, our senseless argument from yesterday's yesterday morning seems to have spiraled out of control. I cannot bring myself to face my family, so I've decided to vanish. Pa, I never intended harm towards you or Grandma, and I wish you were to have. I wish you were here to stop. To have stopped me. My God, man. <laughs> Grandma, my love for you is immense. I am deeply sorry for believing I have changed. You were right all along. So did he change? PTSD is a bitch. Can I get out? Okay. So what the hell is the fucking that little thing? <clears throat> Well, nothing. We read that one already. Turn it back on. Yeah, that's spooky. Still can't go in there yet gonna shut that shut that shut that can I go yet what are we what are we here for Find me if you try, but I can't be seen with the naked eye. Hmm. It's not like any clues on the notes, are there? Can't be seen with the naked eye. So does that mean I need like a special light? Still locked in through the front. Can't really get around anything. Ooh, found it. Are the keys to upstairs? I mean, it's gotta be, right? Pretty much have everything else open besides the padlock or the uh, combination lock. Hmm, that's the one that opened. Let's see if it's this one. Yep. Hmm. Hey, Paula. So shut that. Is it shut? Thought I heard something. There's so many noises. Don't know what to believe. Oh, I love this paint. There's even fluorescent paint in here. Yeah. What would we do with it? Oh, I found a key. The night marks the final stroke of my brush within these walls as I ready myself for the eve to come. The canvas before me depicts a man dissolving into into the inure, in, inure and the weakness that surrounds me. The tape recording is safely secured in my study. There we go. But I'll be long gone before the ears for another ever hears it. Okay. Uh, what tape was he talking about? I need to get into that office.
Anything else I can take or mess with? Uh, there's the fluorescent paint. That light stopped, but then it started again. Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. Do I... Do I go back? <sighs> Let's go down the stairs. See if we can find anything. Ah, here we go. The only thing I haven't checked. Press F to activate UV light. Oh, that's just awful. Oh, no. I have to go upstairs with this light? Give me the regular flashlight first, please. Where do the lights go? Fuck. <laughs> oh, this is terrible lighting. What? Mm. Why? Like, why can't we have a normal flashlight? Where do the lights go? Oh man. Oh god. Do I have to? Oh god, I have to. Alright. Grandma? Oh, what? No, 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 no. Oh, my God, turn the light on. For fuck's sake. Get in, just get in, just get in, just get in. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. Oh, man. Where's the code, Grandpa? You son of a bitch. They had fluorescent paint. I'm not seeing anything. Ah, oh, what painting is it on then? It must not be in here. Mother. Mm. Son of a bitch. So it's just anywhere in the house, or it's just like on a certain painting? Oh god. Let's check all the rooms. I don't want to. Oh, Grandma, how could I have done this to you? Alright, let's uh, let's check downstairs. It's like someone crying, but through a radio? This lighting is terrifying. I don't know what to do. Ooh. One. All right, so we got the number one. It's gotta be upstairs, right? I can't go in any of those other rooms.
back in here. Uh, it's an ugly ass baby. All locked. Ooh. Another one. All four of them are ones. Anything underneath the stairs? Ooh. Yeah. Fuck you little shit. God damn it. Get the number. Ah, <laughs> oh, almost had it. Wait. Ooh, huzzah. 4191. All right, can we get our regular light out now? Oh my God, man. Oh, wait, it's downstairs, right? Something's gonna happen. Uh huh, not in order. Yo, get your regular flashlight back out. The light ball, man. Come on. Psst. Shut the door. Uh. Alright, what are we looking for now? And here's the cassette tape. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the study. Where are the lights? I knew we were gonna trip the breaker or burn a fuse. Did a Naruto run? Let's <laughs> play the cassette. Mm. Shut the door. them against each other is child's play. Just drop the pills next to the addict's pitiful bedside. I waltz in, the virtuous savior. Tom and I indulge in a deceitful game of poker, and as he rises to use the head, I sneak a generous dose of sleeping pills into his tea. Sweet dreams, Tom, you gullible pawn. Once Ethel was dealt with, I moved his body into her quarters. When he comes to, I'm sure he'll believe the terrors of the war made him do such a terrible thing. He won't suspect it was me. Little does he know, I had him dancing to my malicious Piece of shit. I've got him fooled. I fed him a load of lies, making him believe I'm off on some extended work trip tonight. I'd kill him too, but unfortunately, he's my cover. Here's the motive. <coughs> I've gambled my life for this damn country. Yet, who gets the accolades? Not me, but Ethel. Maybe once I erase her from the scene, they'll finally acknowledge the greatness I've achieved, the masterpieces I've crafted. And if they still don't, well, this confession will cement me as the legend who silenced the renowned author Ethel Myrtle and got away with it. You son of a bitch, all these years. 
Which means Ethel will leave us alone. Please? For the love of God, please. <laughs> There's an attic? Oh God, I don't want to... Do we have to go up there? Oh, does this go to the attic? Uh, mother of Jesus. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go up here. Why? Well, it's cool. Didn't mean to kick it. Mm. Come on. We, f we figured it out. It means we can go, right? Oh, why the music stop? Brace, brace, brace. Hold your breath. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm looking for. No, 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 no. Who's that? Oh, there's a knife in the tub. Oh, on the Ouija board. I gotta read? Oh, God, I don't think I can right now. Hmm. My dearest Max, it's hard to put into words the turmoil swirling within me. I needed to understand that my love for you was genuine, but the path I've chosen was driven by desperation. Losing my mother at a young age left a void only Ethel could fill. Her books became my refuge, guiding me through life's trials with their messages and hope and joy. The road I've taken deceiving you to enter your cherished haven was not fueled by malice, but by a sense of duty. In this life, I find it hard to find purpose. Even the prospect of motherhood couldn't anchor me in purpose. Yes, Max, I'm three months pregnant. That's very sad. Oh my god. That's awful. you think it would. Anyway, I owe Ethel everything, but this book of spells and your sacrifice, I'll protect the place she once called home and where those cherished books were born for all eternity. You once said you'd do anything for me, and I believed you, so I slipped poison into your drink, knowing you'd understand. You look so peaceful now in that bed, and I promise to protect your soul. You must rest while mine will remain here forever. Farewell, Max. Thank you for this chance, even if it means goodbye. Love always, Claire. That's hard. That's rough. I need to get the hell out of here. Y yeah. Can I sprint yet? <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So she was also pretty, uh... Messed up. That's sad, man. She was three months pregnant. Oh, God. I keep holding my breath. No, 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 no. Something's running. You're not, Grandma. Bad ending.